Hey guys, welcome to the third and final video for my creative year 2018 for October. And I, our prompt this month, oh, well I should say our topic this month has been salvage. Our first prompt of the month was self and the idea, I took it with the idea of salvaging oneself, repairing oneself, working on oneself. Um, and then the second prompt of the month was repair. Um, uh, which again, I took it towards repairing oneself. I did some journaling on some masking tape and added it to my page. And the journaling was regarding repairing myself, repairing um, my self image, and also, bonus, taking it literally and repairing the page where I damaged the page from doing the image transfer of my face. So, to a twofer. <laughs> um, and this week, the prompt is rusty. Um, whether, again, you're going to take it figuratively and um, what about your personality or um, who you thought you were, skills that you have, have become rusty, you haven't used them lately, you could do something with that on the page, or you could take it literally and add rusty things to your page. Now, I have a bin of rusty metal things. I sell some of them in my Etsy shop. Um, there's a couple other Etsy shops um, also that sell rusty metal. I have these initials, but I'm not sure I want to add them to the page. I might. I am kind of curious if we take a baby wipe, if any of this rustiness of this metal transfers onto paper. So before I do it on the page, because I'm not sure I want to do that, I'm going to just put it here on a scrap piece of paper and see. No, it doesn't. It transfers onto the tissue. So I could literally add my initials to the page or I could add rusty colored elements to the page. Which do I want to do? I have some copper colored paint here to make it look like rusty metal. I'm going to need some turquoise or greeny colors too and maybe some brown. That's not brown, that's purple. Um, I don't really think I want to add the letters to the page. So let's put those away. Although you could do. And there are ways to make metal rusty. Um, there's videos on them on the internet and um, it's a process. Um, there's also been lots of articles about it. So I would do some Googling. It involves um, putting the pieces in a container um, with um, some ammonia and um, letting them sit for a couple of days. Um, or just putting you know, the raw metal outside in the weather and letting it rust. Um, so uh, don't take my word for how to do it. Go look it up. Um, anyway, so that being said, let's actually add some rusty elements to our page or rusty marks. So um, I'm going to put some copper. It's been a while since I did this, so hopefully I remember how. Um, this is Dina Wakeley's Peacock. I'm going to get some green. So this is evergreen. And then we'll do a little bit of brown. This is light cinnamon. This is the right color though. I think I want to use a darker brown. So this is um, Americana's uh, craft paint and this is asphaltum, which is a dark brown. Dark brown. Okay. And we're going to grab a stencil. I don't think I want any add any more words to my page because I really like these words, you are worthy. I'm sorry, you are worth salvaging. I'm wondering if I might want to frame the words with the rusty bit. That's a possibility. I'm taking you here along with my journey. This is what I do. I really kind of think about maybe thinking about um, how I want to do the page. I don't I don't plan a lot. Okay, we got our paint colors. Do we want arrows? Maybe. 
So these are some of my stencils for my stencil line and generally they come for, you can get them individually, like there's a big one of these, it's called Direction and this is the Arrow one. You can also get these smaller sized ones and on one stencil there'll be four different designs and what I did is I just cut them apart. Um, I'll put my um, Etsy store link in the description below. I think I want to use this one. And we need a stencil brush or something stiff. Okay, so we're going to put this here. I'm going to grab a little bit of the copper. I should probably do this on a test piece of paper, but we're not going to. <laughs> and I'm going to brush that on. Okay, and I'm go not going to clean the brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of the brown. Okay, then I'm going to just tap the brush off and grab a little bit of the blue. And then I'm going to tap the brush off again and grab a little bit of that green. and make it look rusty. All right, let's do that again. Put another one up here. So again, I'm gonna just tap the brush off, grab a little bit of copper. Then grab a bit of brown. You could go darker with it if you want. I'm choosing not to. A little bit of the blue. A little bit of the green. Rusty. <laughs> All right. And then do we want to do one? I think I want to do one this way. Copper. You could do a sheet of these. That would be fun to do a whole sheet of these um, like on deli paper or tissue paper or something and then you would have them to use as embellishments and you could do little painted copper um, images that you could use on your pages. That would be fun. And you can just use craft paint. You don't need anything special. There we go, Rusty. I love that a lot. I'm gonna wipe the paint off over here. Um, I'm kind of wanting to, I'm wishing I had a rusty colored pen. How weird is that? And I don't know, I don't think I do. I don't even have a copper one. I don't think this one will work. Let's see. Uh, it might work. I don't have a copper one. I really wish I did. Um, or a rusty colored one. So what I really want to do is add some more rusty marks. And I think what I want to do is take a small, one of these small dotting tools. These are from Hobby Lobby.
Okay, and then I'm going to do just like I did with the stencil. So I'm going to take the same dotting tool and I'm going to just tap it into the brown and put it on there. And then I'm going to go into the blue. I don't want a lot of the blue. I just want to make that copper look rusty. And then we're going to get the green. Yep, I love that. So rusty. So see what you can do with adding that to your page this week. Super cute page. I love the way it turned out this month. Um, I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do exploring some of these deeper hidden messages, but also having fun with your art journal page. And you don't have to take it as literally um, as I did or as figuratively. Do what works for you and have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Again, if you'd like to be part of the Facebook group, My Creative Year, and join our little, little community, if you click on the link tree link in the description below, you're going to find every place I am on the internet, including my Etsy shop to get the stencils and the Facebook group, My Creative Year year. I hope to see you there. That's it for the moment. Don't forget the most important thing, everybody. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.